over the past year, something happened to Christina Aguilera, and everyone noticed that the sweet-faced pop star decided to take her career in a new direction. And as Chris Cuomo continues, she talks about shedding her old image and much of her clothes. By age 21, Christina Aguilera had it all. Grammy winner, millions of records sold, and fans around the world. But she felt she had failed to accomplish what mattered most, to be true to herself. There would be a new album and a new attitude. They were expecting maybe Genie in a Bottle Part 2, but that's exactly how I expressed to the label. I don't want to make a Genie in a Bottle Part 2. I'm not that person. You're not, not going back there. That, well, I'm not that girl. You know, I, I think music should be honest and, and, and about who you really are. And I would be fake if, if, I, if I tried to do that again, you know? She asked me at the beginning of the record. She said, Ron, I'm going to ask you to do something that you're not good at. I want you to lay back and leave your hands off. The pop princess was dead, and with her new album stripped, Christina was reborn as the darker, edgier ex-Tina. Many saw the new Christina as an unfit role model. It's a bondage shot. Uh -oh. And frankly, as a sellout, a talented artist taking the easy way to commercial success. But Christina is defiant. You know what kind of negativity it spurs. You, therefore, are intentionally doing it, kind of sticking it in the face of people who want to criticize it. It's just me being me. That's, that's all it is. If a guy would have made that video, like D'Angelo does a video where he's pretty much naked, you don't know what's going on below that scene or, or who's with him, but, <laughs> you know, and then um, Ricky Martin, it's not controversial at all to see him pulling hot wax down a naked female, you know. If I want to at 21, just like, you know, any other person, you know, wear a short skirt if I want to or... No or, skirt. <laughs> I think it scares people when a woman is comfortable with herself, her sexuality. And when you listen to her second effort, on which she co-wrote most of the songs, it's clear that the album's title, Stripped, refers to not just her body, but her soul. In the song, I'm OK, Christina reveals her father's violent temper and the emotions that she hadn't dealt with since childhood. It's, it's so emotionally and psychologically damaging. It sticks with you. You know, years later, the bruises have faded, but you know, in my head, I, I still hear the echoes of it. She recorded the song in one take, laying on the floor of the studio. In her early years, she had to learn. Well, I'm crying on the record, trying to hold back my tears. It was the hardest thing I've ever had to sing. When I listened to it, I heard things in there, of course, that she didn't realize, uh, like a little girl screaming. chilled me to the bone because I swear I remember that coming out of her mouth. It hurt me to see the pain across my mother's face. Did you care when you were writing it what he was going to think? I did, yeah. I, I didn't write it at all out of spite for him or or anything. It was, it was my own healing process and it was my own way of, of letting uh, the word get out. The song hasn't fostered a rekindling of their relationship, but it did prompt a letter from Dad. He wrote a letter uh, to me expressing uh, uh, that, uh, you know, he knew that I had to do it for uh, Will to Heal Myself. He made a mistake. He knows it. The man remains more of a memory than a father, living on the other side of the country. But his influence is strong in her music and her ideas about life. When I, you know, going through that and witnessing that, I, I, I said I never wanted to feel helpless to a man. You know, I never wanted to be in that position. Her father wouldn't be the only man she'd take on. And no small irony, the woman criticized for negative portrayal of women would be one of the few female artists to openly criticize Eminem for anti-woman lyrics, a charge he would quickly counter in a song and prove true at the same time. I think he, he gets up there and uh, uh, does a lot of what he thinks is going to be shocking, just for the shock value. 
Though she doesn't regret the stance, Christina is quick to say the feud is over. We actually had an opportunity to um, make up. Now 22 years old, the girl who grew up in a working class neighborhood outside Pittsburgh is worth millions of dollars and still has most of her career ahead of her. I beat you by 10 points. Yeah, I see the score. Christina Aguilera. Whether she's goofing around or making a fan's day, she's now in touch with her many different sides and faces. Confident that no matter what people say, she knows what it is to be beautiful. I am beautiful in every single way. Yes, words can bring me down. Oh, no. So don't you bring me down today. Ooh. The new image apparently hasn't hurt Christina's career. Her song, Dirty, is up for an award at this year's Grammys. Good for her. We'll be right back.